Woo! It's Charles Wood English teacher with my new board. Feeling proud. Feeling great. Today we're going to focus on some key words, some key connectors, which will make you sound more clever, more confident and more fluent in English. These are words that link sentences and clauses together to make you sound great. I've also included a line because why not? Which leads me on to my first connector because. This is really uh, a nice connector. You give your opinion, you know like I really hate football because when I was young I fell over fo a football and broke my leg, for example. So the because is to explain why you think something or why something is linked to something else. The next connector is a very common connector but I see this connector as a bit better than and or or because it puts some doubt in the sentence and it kind of contradicts, changes what you were saying before. So if you're like, for example, I really love swimming but I have an allergy to chlorine so I can't go into the swimming pool, I have to swim in the sea which is a problem at the moment because I'm in the Czech Republic. <laughs> anyway, so but contradicts, adds some new information about what you're trying to express. Okay, this moves me on to therefore. Therefore is a good word for spoken and written English, especially written English. Therefore, it basically means as a result. So, for example, I graduated from university, therefore I am a genius. That might not be true, by the way, but it's saying as a result of what I've just said, therefore, this means this, something like that. And I've included the bottom two because they're brilliant. They're versions, sneaky equivalent synonyms of because, thanks to and due to. So, in s start again. Because and thanks to due to are equivalents, right? So, thanks to means you are grateful to something or somebody. It can quite often be like because of. So thanks to my mum, I managed to become an Olympic athlete in the discus. So thanks to has positive meaning or connotations. Due to is just the same, but negative. So for example, the rain today is due to the prevailing north winds coming and bringing the bad weather. So with these connectors, I really believe you can improve your English and you can really take your English to the next level, which is what we are all about here. So. This has been the new board. This has been me, Charles Wood English teacher, your language tutor online. I'm here for you. Ask me questions. I'm always interested to hear from you. And good luck. Use these in your sentences. Put some sentences below in the comments. And as always, you come to the end of the video. And if you're not subscribed already, that's outrageous. Come on. Sort it out. Do you want to learn English or not? 